All right, day three of my trip to Mississippi. We are here with Victoria from Super Geeked, Alicia from Married Life, and we are at Goodwill. Good it's called that. Tulane. We're, we're, that, we're just that good. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys inside. And like always, I like to do a little pan of the store to take a look around and then look at my cart after I was done sorting. Uh, it's about halfway full. And here's a look at the city of New Orleans. I don't know any of those buildings, so uh, enjoy. And then we headed out to lunch where Victoria got shrimp. I got pork chops and Alicia got chicken. And look at how happy these people are. So yummy. All right, at Salvation Army, it was supposed to be half off today of clothing, but we just saw there's a sign that says half off furniture. So we're a little disappointed, but maybe we'll go inside and be surprised. And another quick pan of the store. The store was huge and super crowded. See that line? And everything was 50% off. And then here's a quick look at my cart after I've sorted everything. And we're looking at Alicia and she is going through her clothing, sorting and waving. And then we go over to Victoria where she is literally crying because she is having to throw everything back. Look at that pile. All right, a quick look at my throwbacks because these were pretty crazy. I don't know why I picked these up. They were Gymshark. Well, that is why. But look at all of that. Why wouldn't I have checked before? Uh, then we take a look at this one. It is Athleta. I was going to bundle this with another Athleta piece. Uh, so, I yeah, obviously wasn't buying these because the crotch area, again, and Athleta does not sell that well. And then... <laughs> I felt really silly for this one because it was in the men's section and I guess I wasn't really thinking and I thought that was the Athleta logo and then I took a look at it over here and it was tangerine so that's a no and after all is said and done here is a look at Victoria's trunk with a lot of bags in it yeah, time for the haul part of the video. The first haul is from the Goodwill on Tulane Avenue. I actually thought it was called Tulane. I thought it was just a thrift store labeled Tulane. I thought that store was pretty good. It was probably one of my favorites so far. So let me show you what I got. Starting off strong, this is a fun little tank top. It's 100% silk and it's by one of my favorite brands, St. John. And comps on this one looked pretty good. Another one that Victoria found for me, Eileen Fisher. It's 100% linen, just a pair of pants. I believe these are black or blue. Yeah, I think they're black. I am a little bit colorblind uh, when it comes to black and blues. And I think like purple and blue. Hopefully when I get home, I can see better and I'll get it listed correctly. All right, a brand that I hear about all the time that sells decent. And I've never found it, but I thought it would be fun to pick up and try out is Outdoor Voices. I don't find it in my area. Maybe it's there and I just pass it over, but just a pair of leggings. They look like they've never been worn, but I can neither confirm or deny that. And if I can't sell them, I will just keep them. Like I say about a lot of my stuff. This one was kind of expensive. Athleta Girl. I love this like minty color. It's just a fun jacket. I did find that it is still selling online, but this size is sold out. So fingers crossed. So I did get to go through the dresses before Alicia and Victoria. Victoria was super mad at me, but just kiddingly mad, I think. But I did find a lot of good dresses. And this is just, you know, a mediocre brand, but you know, I gotta bring something home. It's a Torrid, it's a size four, so a good size. I always pick up floral dresses by Torrid and my, my text messages are going nuts. So I feel like the girls are texting a lot and I can't read it because it's going so fast, but it is just a fun little sleeveless dress. I'm going to check out their messages. All right, back to the haul. Um, so I wasn't really, oh yeah, I remember why I picked this one up. This is Eli Tahari. I do it's like hit or miss. Like I do really well with it and then I do really horrible with it. So I'm hoping this one does well. Probably won't sell till closer to the winter. It is a wool blend, but it is a fun blazer. It is an extra large. And the only reason I got this, they're only priced $4.99, which my Goodwill prices blazers at like eight bucks. So I thought if it's a good deal, you might as well get it, right? And I was very excited for this. I know Alicia finds flax like every time she goes thrifting, 
So I was excited that I found flax. I did find one recently when I went with my parents to Goodwill and I think it sold within a week for like $57 and it was just a shirt. So here's the top and it comes with the bottoms. So super excited about this and it is a size large so it should do well and it's just a fun fun color. Okay, so uh, in a boutique by the box, I did discover Susanna Monaco. I'm pretty sure other resellers know about this brand. Uh, but in my boutique by the box, I sold like a tank top for maybe like $50 or $60. And so I've been on the lookout for Susanna Monaco. And I thought this one was cute. It looks like a little summer dress. But it's made of 100% pure lamb's wool. I'm not really sure how pure wool summer dresses do because I feel like that's kind of like a contradiction but we're gonna test it out and uh I'll let you know so again going through the blazer section uh super excited about their pricing like $4.99 for blazers these things are heavy I think if I would have paid for this at the bins I probably would have paid close to like four bucks maybe even five so uh basically bins prices but it's a fun tweed jacket and even better it was made by Carl Lagerfeld and Carl Lagerfeld does okay for me. Uh, so I was really excited to find this. And I would have been just fine just finding the blazer. But I went over to the skirt section and I found the skirt. It matches. How crazy is that? And it is a size 12, so it is a good size. And then I picked up a few denim pieces. I am picky about free people. So this is We The Free. The only reason I picked this one up is because it is a size 31. Usually I find like size 24, 25. It has like a little raw hem. So it should be fun for the summer or like festival season. Uh, when I went to Nordstrom, I bought a couple frame pants. Um, of course, they are new with tags, but they sold really fast for like $90. And so I figured, I mean, I know a lot of people pick up frame but I've never really seen it in a thrift store. So I was really excited to find frame in a thrift store. Another little skirt, I believe, maybe, oh, I think these were the same size. So maybe somebody will want both of the frame and we the free. This is a black denim with a little bit of a raw hint there. And I believe this is another Victoria find. This is a pure linen J Jill, I will sell linen pants probably no matter what the brand is i usually get around 25 30 for it i probably could ask a little more for j jill this is a size a large and it is like a beige color so super neutral can work with any top so i saw this brand and i feel like i recognized it um then i was gonna throw it back and then i saw it was made in italy so i decided to do a google lens search and when I did that, I found not comps, but listings for over $300. There are two listings on either Poshmark or eBay for $300, over $300 for this dress. Um, I didn't look at solds <laughs> because I had so much stuff. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't sell for like $10. Leave, the Goodwill knew what this was. They marked it at $14.99. Did I even tell you guys the brand? <laughs> Probably not. Narcisco Rodriguez and there is a look at the tag. I mean it doesn't look like really anything. It is a silk dress and it just has a zip back but maybe some celebrity wore it or something and people are on the lookout for it. Okay my favorite find and I believe this is Victoria's favorite find. And let me tell you the uh, comp that I did find for $75 for this particular dress I think the uh, person had just laid it on the floor with a tape measure. Not the most attractive way to uh, show your listing. And me and Victoria talked about this. We think that sometimes we can get more money than the comps are showing because our pictures are a lot better. We take more time to list and photograph. And you know, some people don't include measurements and people just go by those listings. They don't even ask questions. And they'll just go to somebody else they are willing to pay more if you have actually everything in your listing and good pictures all right that's my spiel about that um so this is an alice and olivia which is definite yes there's a look at the tag and oh my gosh it is so cute it's like a midi dress maybe knee length 
and the fun floral embroidery. There's a little bird in there. So cute. It is sleeveless and it does have a zip up back. I am so excited to get this one listed. They did mark it at $14.99, probably just based on the embroidery. This will be the first thing that I list when I get home. All right, that was it for Goodwill to Lane. I ended up paying a total of $125. That's the most that I spent on the trip so far. Uh, so yeah, I think that was a pretty good haul for me. The other girls haven't been finding as much, but I feel like I'm not being as picky as they are. Tanya still has a lot of stuff from a trip that she took last week. Victoria has a death pile. Alicia has stuff uh, from a client, from a flip client. So I don't think that they're uh, trying to get as much stuff as I am. I just want to make this trip worth it and hopefully make money from this trip. But seeing my friends is just the best and I love hanging out with these girls. They are amazing. Okay, let's go on to my haul from Salvation Army. All clothing was half off there. It was super busy as you could see. I am a little bit nervous because Salvation Army everywhere, not just in New Orleans, puts the tags like actually in the fabric, not like on the seams. So I'm just afraid that they're gonna leave holes. Victoria showed me a trick, so we'll see if that works. These were $4.99. These are a collective Mod Clock collab and they are so fun. It's a novelty print. It does have bunnies on it. I thought this would have been great for Easter. Easter has passed, but still a great print and comps looked pretty good. And the size was cut out of this one, sadly, but as long as you give measurements, it should be good and I can guesstimate on size. I was a little unsure about this, but being 50% off, thought I'd take a chance. These are $4.99, 50% off. Uh, these are just a pair of leggings. They're plain black, but I saw on the waistband, it does say Patagonia. And again, I don't know if I said this. Yeah, I said this in my first video. I don't find Patagonia in my area. So anything Patagonia, I think I'm gonna pick up. 100% silk, this is one that I am a little bit nervous about because look at the placement of this tag, it's right in the sleeve on 100% silk. So I am a bit nervous. It was $6.99, it is an extra small. I, I have never actually sold this brand, but comps on this looked decent. It is a cute little dress. Love this color again, anything green, anything blue, those are my colors. Okay, so I think I said in my video that I was gonna lot an athleta piece, but the athleta piece that I put back had all of this peeling on the crotch area. And this was the other athleta piece that was the same size that I was gonna lot it with. This one looks brand new. It's really hard for me to sell athleta individually. So I'm hoping maybe I find some more athleta and I can lot it up with this one. This one feels like it's never been worn. Worried about these tags. This was only $4.99. It has pockets, which is definite plus. That is always what I look for in leggings. And if you guys have been watching my other videos, I found a lot of Spanx, so super excited for this. It is a smaller size, size small, but you know, everybody likes the Spanx. So gotta pick those up for sure, especially at a price of $4.99. And I found a Theory Slacks. I don't really like selling little pants that aren't jeans or athletic wear <laughs> but I figured being theory I could get a little bit more money in my area when I find Lululemon it is marked to at least $12.99 so imagine my surprise when I found this Lululemon for $4.99 and then half off so it is just a fun little print uh I don't know are these capris maybe these are like the seven eight nowhere on the cry. I did check all of my leggings. I was super excited when I found this. I actually found it not in the dress section. Uh, this was $6.99, but it is a fun little Lily dress. And the only reason that I did see this is I saw Lily right here on the, on these little band things. Otherwise I wasn't going to reach all the way up there and try to, uh, look at the tag. So there's a look at that tag. It's more of a formal dress. So hoping it will sell maybe this summer. All right, I do love buying things retail arbitrage. I did see this, it was from Marshalls originally. They had it marked at $34.99. And then it didn't have the other tag. So 
I don't know why I wasn't thinking about that. So I might just clip a little bit of this tag off and still say it is new with tags. And a few months ago, I went to Ross and bought a bunch of Columbia stuff. And I found a bunch of Columbia stuff in my vintage storage unit. And almost all of it has sold. So pretty excited. And this is a 2XL. Uh, and I love that print. It is so cute. It looks so cozy. Houndstooth. It's green and black. Well, now that I think about it, this probably won't sell anytime soon, but I will just stick it in my closet and wait for an offer or for it to sell for full price. So if you guys don't know, Talbots is a really good brand if you can find their blazers in tweed. I've sold tweed blazers from them for over $50 consistently. So that was an, a no-brainer for me. Definitely pick this one up. Uh, it was priced a little bit higher at $9.99, but again, half off. So I only paid five bucks for this one. And I do try to stay away from the petites or any smaller sizes because those are a little harder to sell. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I found this. I found this on my way out. It is an Athleta piece. I hope it's the same size. I think it is. So this is Athleta size small. It is a pair of joggers. Uh, these are really cute. If I was a size small, oh my gosh. I think these are like velvet. Okay, I did not look this over very well. It does look like brand new. I'm really excited for these. It was priced at $6.99, but again, half off. So I only paid $3.50 for these. Okay, my last find is kind of a weird one because I don't want to do anything besides throwing things in the washer, taking them out and photographing them. This one I'm going to have to soak because it does have a few tiny stains on it. I'm not going to find them right now. And it does need a lot of sweater shaving, but I looked up comps and I found this exact one in black. There was only three that ended up selling. There is one for sale, but those were all black. This one is white but it's the same exact print. It has fun buttons. It says it's witchcraft on the back. It has this little, little symbol. It is by Wild Fox, which can sell very well and which can just sit forever. In my experience, I saw one that sold for $50, one that sold for $75 and one that sold for $125. And those were all not in that great a shape. Well, I'm hoping the white one is even more rare. Um, we'll find out. And I can sell it for a good price, but I am going to work on this. So far, this is my only project to really work on. So I'm super excited to get started with this one and see what I can do with it. My total for, ooh, this is a fun receipt. It's, okay, these have big numbers on it, so I'm not like... Okay, my total for this was $46. So yeah, that was it for our Wednesday day three and looking forward to tomorrow, Thursday, when we are going to stay in the Biloxi area and just thrift shop and see where the day takes us. All right. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. See you on the next one.